This is an original story by Layman's Bookstore, where the truth is free. Our goal is to help educate children and empower parents. Waiting for Little Miss Wright by Theodore and Lene Valentine. It was a chilly fall day with orange and red leaves falling everywhere. Excited little children poured out of big yellow buses, anxious to get home from school. Today, however, no one was more anxious to get home than little Tommy Jameson. Daddy, Daddy, Pops, yelled Tommy as he burst through the front door. He was out of breath from running all of the way home. Whoa there, said Pops, as he calmly set down the newspaper that he was reading. Sounds like you have something pretty important to tell us to be running in here like that. It is, Pops. It is, gasped Tommy between breaths. <laughs> What's going on, son? Dad said as he came in from the garage. He was wiping grease off of his hands with a rag. Sally, said Tommy. She tried to kiss me, but I ran away before she could, Tommy blushed. Did I do the right thing, Dad? Well, Tommy, said Dad calmly as he sat in a chair. What do you think? Tommy sat down in a chair beside Daddy and Pops and started swinging his feet. I don't know, said Tommy. I know I should not have run away, but I didn't want to kiss her either. I want to save all of my kisses for my wife, just like you did for mommy. Plus, that is what Jesus would want me to do. Hmm, do you like this girl, Tommy? asked Pops. Tommy looked at the floor, then back at Pops shyly. Yes, Pops, I do, but I also want to respect her, said little Tommy. Well, son, then tell Sally how you feel, said Dad. I am very proud of you for wanting to wait for little Miss Wright, but I think it is only fair that you let little Sally know that too. I am very proud of you too, buddy, said Pops. You are shaping up to be an honorable, God-fearing young man, said Daddy, as he playfully messed up Tommy's hair. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy, Pops. I will talk with Sally tomorrow, said Tommy, as he gave them a hug. The next morning, Daddy woke Tommy up early so they could pray before Tommy went to school. Dear Jesus, prayed Daddy. I pray for Tommy and Sally today. Put the right words in Tommy's mouth and open Sally's heart so that she can hear them and receive them. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, said Tommy and Daddy together. When Tommy got to school, Sally was waiting. Sally, said Tommy, I like you, but I can't give you a kiss. You see, Jesus would want me to save my kisses for my future wife. I think you are really pretty, but I don't think we should kiss right now. <laughs> Sally almost started to cry. I'm sorry, Tommy, she said. I just wanted to show you I like you. That's all right, Sally said Tommy. But let's just be kids and have fun, okay? Okay, Tommy. How about if we go play Foursquare? Suggested Sally. That sounds like fun, said Tommy excitedly. Tommy closed his eyes and said a short prayer. 
Thank you, Jesus. Then Tommy took Sally by the hand, and the two went off to play Foursquare. The end. If you would like to support or build the ministry, please donate or join the mission online at laymansbookstore.com. Thank you, and God bless.